Almost two years ago, I played a really cool survival blockchain game called Gold Fever on my channel for the first time, and I've been getting comments from people ever since about how they can play, how they can invest, how they can get started, and today, guys, I'm here to announce to you that the beta is finally here, and there's some really cool upcoming NFT sales that'll give you early access and perks to the game if you finally want to get started. My name is Zuljin, if you don't know me. I've been in blockchain gaming now for over two years, and I've been really, really loving the scene and watching things evolve. And when the team reached back out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to see their evolution, their, how much they've developed this game out to be what is going to be a decentralized masterpiece of survival game, I happily agreed. And I want to show you guys some of the cool stuff that you could do in the gameplay loop, as well as talk about some of their upcoming NFTs and how to get access to the game. So I wanna give a very special thank you to the team at Gold Fever for sponsoring this video today and giving me the opportunity to share it with you guys with a specialized account that has all sorts of gold and tokens that I can use to showcase the game functions, okay? So first off, welcome Gold Diggers. We're happy to welcome you into the first closed beta test of Gold Fever. In this build, we want to focus on certain mechanics. Now, there's a list of things that are kind of part of their gameplay loop and some of the features that are finally available for proper testing. So, this game, if you didn't know, is completely decentralized. The actual team doesn't own any of these NFTs. We're going to be able to earn these NFTs and run businesses inside the game. For instance, you're going to need a horse or a donkey to carry all this gold and loot from one location to another because the map is huge. But in doing so, you'll be able to own some of these businesses and rent out and sell resources to other players so that you can collect passive income through the game while they're all fighting over it. So you can either have the mindset of an adventurer or a tribal, one of the factions that you can play in order to actually interact with each other and try to extract or protect gold claims, as well as the landowner or the claim owner that just gets income from actually owning these NFTs and watching people battle through it. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and close this and create a character. So let's start out by talking about the factions. You've got the tribals, which are dead set on protecting their claims. These are their lands and they don't want the adventurers to come in and steal the gold from their rivers. The adventurers, however, are dead set on trying to strike it rich, and they'll do anything that they can to get gold out of these rivers and extract value from the land, okay? So, if you look at any of the characters, you can start by creating a character and see that they have some different classes, okay? There's the warrior, the shaman, and the scout that all have different specialties. For instance, the shaman can use poison blow darts. The warriors are good at fighting, and the scout's strength lies in being able to ambush at a distance. If we go over to the other characters, the adventurers, I've already made a character here to be able to test out the game and stuff, but if you go to create new, you'll see that they have medics, which are all about being able to heal on the battlefield. They have prospectors, which can use weapons really fast, and there's hunters that can scavenge stuff from the animals and things of that nature. So there's all sorts of things to do. You can select any of the races or, or, or sexes that you want out of this as well as the different skins. Now, if I would just to put my name in here and select one of the, uh, the classes here, we'll go with Prospector and you see that you can accept and burn for these specific skins. Now, there's a couple skins that you can unlock like the Jeweler, the Gold Rush Pioneer, and you can just press accept and burn. Now, it costs to be able to unlock these skins, the gold tokens, which you can extract in game, but you could start off for free, mine some gold, get that on, on your account, and then start unlocking these skins if you like. So you could start with as little as zero and try to get value at this game, or you could do a little bit of investing and start with some advantages. And we'll get into all those specifics here. Okay, great. Now that I have my character, I can go over to him and hit play and it's gonna connect to the server. And here we are inside the game. It spawns you in town and you can see all of the little buildings and stuff like that. In matter of fact, if you go to your map by pressing M, 
it brings up the map and you can see all of the commercial nfts i was talking about now these buildings will provide services to players that they'll need and if you own one of these buildings as an nft you'll be able to generate some passive rewards by doing that okay so if we escape out of here and escape and go to tutorials it has some little tutorials that you can follow along to kind of learn about the game and the gameplay loop so to speak so for starters we have gold 101 rewards you earn junk registering to mining claims in a mining claim finding gold with a pan and exchanging it for ngl which is the token that the game runs on okay the 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 cryptocurrency okay so if we go to start tutorial and we hold this it says mining claim 101 acquire gold find and purchase a gold pan from the tool workshop or look around in the junk pile next to it so if we go to map here so if we zoom out you can see in the key here it says active quest there's a blue icon here if you zoom in it says tools workshop so that's where we're going to need to go so let's let's head in that direction and we'll get our tools all right looks like we just found the little shop here we can hit press f to talk and kind of tells you what to hear uh hey, welcome adventurer i'm the local tools trader what can i do for you today i'm here to learn about mine how to mine for gold can you help me of course mining for gold is a great way to make a living around here you'll need gold pan to start with can i buy one from you actually i'll give you one for free it's the least i could do to help a fellow adventurer like yourself that's very kind of you but keep in mind gold pans can also be found in other places around here next time if you don't have money you might want to check the garbage piles near the shops including mine thanks for the tip and remember i have many other valuable items for sale in my shop feel free to come back and see me anytime all right so we got the gold pan and that's in slot three we can equip it and it goes into our hands and we could use it from here but if we were to look around these little piles of junk you can see here it says scavenge okay so if we hit e it's going to take a few seconds to scavenge and in the bottom right corner you'll see that i just got a bucket which is also a very important item that we're going to need so that's one thing that we won't have to buy as well let's go ahead and put that in our inventory actually we could just right click and 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 equip it there okay so now we have a couple tools that we're going to need and it says search for close mining claims check coordinates and register if it's free so we go back to the map and see that we have the mining claim trader right over here so we'll want to go there and get our mining claim registered and right here should be the claims manager okay so if there's claims available which there aren't always claims available you can talk to her by going to trade and under the services tab here you'll see a few different claims now if you click on them it kind of shows you what area it is this is an a7 a7 this one's in a4 b2 and this one is in a3 a3 which is closest to us i believe if i go to the map and zoom out a little bit you'll see that a3 a3 is actually going to be one right above us okay so we'll just have to head north and be able to go to that particular claim so let's go ahead and trade with her we're going to select the a3 a3 claim and register and there we go quest mining claims 101 has been updated registration is complete go to the mining claim entrance navigate to the registered mining claim but don't forget to get a weapon the rainforest is a dangerous place so we don't have any weapons yet we'll have to grab that and the weapon shop is just down here so let's head there all right let's go into the weapons shop and see what she has now you can buy weapons here or you can rent them the cruel thing about this is if you had nfts these weapons are always available to you and you can't lose them when you die however these weapons right here if you buy them in game and you die the weapons can be looted from you or missing if you don't if you don't respawn in time or whatever the case may be if you can't get back to your stuff and you'll be gone so you got basic knife right here we have a semi-automatic pistol and we also have some bow and arrows and stuff now i got a lot of money so we could try a few different ones uh let's see this is a semi-automatic pistol and it uses 0.32 ammo so let's go ahead and buy this and the 0.32 ammo is here so we'll go ahead and buy some of that i don't know how many you actually get with this but i'll buy two of them just in case 
just in case there's some there's some there's some stuff that we got to fight against okay all right cool so i have those and if i go into my inventory here you'll see now it's available on my hot bar and it looks like they have seven rounds a piece so maybe 21 rounds altogether. <laughs> okay as we're heading toward the mining claim i did see a little horse stable that was here so the horse stable is going to allow you to get mounts and saddles for them if we open up the the dialogue here and see you will have buy options for saddles and things of that nature as well as renting them and if you go to any of these horses and say that you want to rent it for a little while you have a couple options to pay for them either with ngl or the gold tokens and if you go to the we can say that we'll rent it for eight hours okay so if we go to rent here it's going to give us an option to spawn this horse in and we'll also be able to buy a saddle if we go to there's a horse cargo saddle and we could buy that and there's also a horse riding saddle that seems to be out of stock and there's no way that we can rent that so we won't be able to ride him but we will be able to use him to carry stuff which seems pretty cool let's go ahead and spawn him and here he is he's not the uh, he's got a he's got some patchwork colors on him right so if we open the horse inventory and we put the cargo saddle on him we'll see that i think you just have to right click there we go so now he has a little bit of a uh, a saddle that we could put cargo on him and with our new companion we can probably go get a rocker box which is really difficult to carry without one of these animals so i'm gonna track back go to the tools workshop and pick one of those up here at the tools workshop again i'm gonna pick up a little bit of a uh, an advanced uh, mining apparatus called the basic rocker box and we're gonna try that out all right and we finally made it to the claim i had to go through a lot of the rainforest at night which was pretty crazy but here is one of the little streams so we could kind of set up shop right here let's get the horse uh to come on land here well you could stay in the water if you want dude that's fine <laughs> so let's take our box and uh well let's take our bucket first and we're gonna equip the bucket and the pan so if you take the pan and you left click it's gonna try to pan for some gold quest mining claims 1g1 has updated acquire at least two grams of gold keep on panning for flakes and nuggets search at least three to five times in a spot before moving to another so you can get a little bit from one spot and then you have to move on but it's pretty quick to pan as you can see if we take a look at our inventory you can see this is a gold flake minuscule piece of brassy yellow metal varied in shape and it's kind of getting dark on us right now so we're gonna have to kind of wait until uh it comes daylight again so it's daytime again and i think we should set up our rocker box so the horse one of the reasons that we needed a mount was to be able to carry this rocker box they're very very heavy so if i take it out you'll see that it goes into my inventory and kind of just sits in my arms here and it's very very slow to walk around with this thing okay so we we have to kind of set this up and we could have walked all the way here i suppose with it in the arms it doesn't seem like it would be very practical but it's much much easier to get our mounts set up okay so let's go ahead and open this sucker up if we press f it's going to allow us to place it on the ground and if we press f again it's going to assemble it and now the rocker box is operational so to use this you take the bucket and you grab gravel and water so let's go ahead and get our bucket and we can grab some water now it says hold left kick click to get gravel or well click left click to get gravel or hold left click to get water so let's go ahead and hold and we'll grab some water from here and we'll open the rocker box and drag this water over the water icon okay now that we have water now if we go ahead and get gravel just by clicking once we'll be able to put that in the rocker box and shake 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 it up okay so on top of the the soil and hit start processing now it's going to shake and if there's any gold in the the dirt that we got or the scoop of gravel that we got it's going to appear here if not it's going to look like this unfortunately so maybe a little bit more bucketing hey there we go 
You can see it here, and these are going to be much bigger than the uh, you get guess the the hand picked uh, gold that we get. All right, so if we go to collect, this one's a big one. Okay, 113 milligram tiny nugget. Keep going. There's a lot more gold there. Okay, <laughs> yeah, there's another one. I'd say we're doing pretty darn good. Once we get a little bit more of this gold, we're going to actually head back to bank this stuff. So let's pick up our rocker box now, and then we're going to put it back on the horse. Okay. And now our quest is updated as well. It says leave the mining claim unharmed, exit the mining claim, and navigate to the nearest bank to exchange your gold. So that's what we're going to do. Come on, horsey. Let's get out of here. We've got a ton of gold to sell. So keep in mind, people are going to be after you this whole time. My, my buddy CryptoStash just did a video in this game, and it, <laughs> it's really, really like hard to extract gold when people are after you in a, in a PvP environment. Naturally, all of this stuff was just to showcase the gameplay loop, but that's one of the things that I think is going to be amazing about the, the game. Like, in survival games in general, owning stuff <laughs> is, is mind-blowing. Like, I've been around where griefers just kind of take whatever they want in big tribes or whatever and in in games like this you'll be able to own some stuff which kind of take a lot of the mundane stuff out that way even if griefing happens you still have your stuff you know you don't have to work so hard for it and with nft ownership you can mitigate risks like that you know behind the mundane task of just starting from scratch all the time that's why gold fever i think is is great like it's fully decentralized too the 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 the, the game devs they don't own any of these stuff we're gonna own them as investors and players and we're the ones that bring the game to life so you that's that's what i think is is really really amazing about this it's water man i <laughs> tell you swimming yeah I'm, I'm just afraid that a gator is gonna come out of nowhere and bite me or whatever but anyway I, I this that's one of the things i really really uh, like about this game uh it's 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 just it's just something man anyway it's, it's kind of hard to concentrate sometimes when i'm trying to navigate but look as the game evolves where am i here let's see i gotta go yep i gotta keep heading west all right as, so as the game evolves we're gonna have the opportunity to own the in-game shops like you saw in the beginning like they they call them commercial nfts right but they're they're literally like the weapon shops and the animal stables pretty much all of the buildings that you see here like you're gonna be able to be a virtual entrepreneur and selling resources and renting resources to these people that they need to play the game <laughs> it's 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 pretty cool to think about right you're just gonna be able to to, to run your own shop you know and, and collect income from it uh even like for the instance the horse that i just rented even that the, the saddle that i just bought <laughs> those those are all going to be things that you'll be able to collect revenue from and it, it's going to be great let me sure to check if there's a uh a, a, a saddle so i could ride no they're still out of stock but if it was in stock and somebody did own this joint i would be able to uh I would be able to buy it and they would get some profit on it. So anyway, we'll talk more about the commercial NFTs after I finish this loop. Let's go turn in this gold. All right. So it looks like we made it to the bank safe and sound. Let's trade. Okay. And all of your services. Let's see. All nuggets. We can evaluate. Okay. And let's evaluate this gold flake, for instance. The purity is unknown right now, so it kind of gets ID'd. And it looks like it's purity 72.647 carats, all right? So we can exchange or evaluate all of the rest. And just to make it quickly, I'm going to go ahead and go exchange all. The exchange process has started. Please wait. Congratulations on finishing mining claim 101. So the total weight is 912 milligrams. Purity is unknown because we didn't check all of them, okay? The current price price is 0.445, and it looks like they took a little bit of commission too. All right, so our quest is complete, and that is the gameplay loop, ladies and gentlemen. Now, keep in mind, we could have ran into other players that were tribals trying to take our claim or rob us for the gold and kill us. We could have ran into wild animals, and of course, if the hunger and thirst and all of that stuff was in the game right now, we'd have to constantly make sure that we were fed and well-nourished and, and not 
not running low on any of the stats that we have that I'm behind actually right now. So all in all, guys, they have come a long way. The game feels really, really fluid. Aside from a little bit of graphical glitches that I have with my recording software, I have to say it runs very, very smooth. And I'm looking forward to diving into a lot of the mechanics like building and crafting. They have a whole thing with survival where you could build buildings and all sorts of stuff. All right, so if you want to know more about the commercial NFTs, like I was just talking about, you could come to goldfever.io slash commercial dash NFT slash one. Scroll down the page and it's going to tell you a little bit about them. They have a list that you can see with all the different NFTs. Like they give you examples, like if you own an airfield, what the rent price will be, the price of the service, the total of monthly, and even what the passive income might look like. And then if you scroll down, it kind of shows you the different scenarios. You manage the business daily and adjust the offers accordingly to the demand of items and services needed by players who play the game. It can be superior to the default one in this scenario. Your income will be proportional to the efforts that you make to manage the business, or you can even hire someone to do the job if you lack the time. So just like rental, if you don't have the the, the real the time to manage this stuff, you can just have someone else do it. Like the choice is yours. There's gonna be a lot of earning revenue opportunities you'll be able to speculate on the tokens you'll be able to rent you'll be able to own you'll be able to collect passive income from these things it's it's a ton there's even going to be staking that's going to be accessible for the commercial nft owners and as far as the masks this is the sale that's coming up now i don't have an an absolute date on it but it's going to be in the first line of my description in the video description so check it okay um so you'll be able to access the main net okay right now the game is on test net which by the way you can download and play immediately right now if you want but the main net you're gonna have access to this if you own a mask up until quarter three of 2023 when the rest of the people come in okay you'll be able to learn how to play the game do the beta testing learn the economy get in front of the queue and you'll get dedicated nft sales only for mask owners okay so if you're interested in owning assets into these games mask holders are going to have first dibs on them okay so on the page under why you should buy it it says the genesis mask are a defining tool at this game for every level no matter what type of user you are and they have an entire select section dedicated to it on the medium so we talk about it the benefits that are all there that we just talked about and it talks a little bit about what the lore is around these masks but if you get into it lower it's it shows about the rarity that's a key a feature that turns the utility into pure benefits and if you go down it even has the stats on what you'll be able to do so for the nft sale perks in one common part you'll get beta build early public build and the game of diggers okay if you have a rare mask you'll have one minute early sale access, okay? And you know, if you've been around the blockchain at any time and ever showed up for an NFT drop, you know that one minute can make all of the difference because things go sky high. In the epics, you'll get one minute early sale access and you'll have special auctions if you have three rare parts or three epic parts. And then it gets into the legendaries one minute early access to building one minute early access to claims one minute early access to land and more special auctions for multiple legendaries so again guys if you're interested at all in playing this game and to, to to investing you should probably just take a look at the medium the web page you should download the game and play it and see for yourself what it's like to play the game and how hard it would be to acquire some of these items and all the items that you're going to be buying and renting and stuff like that is going to give you an idea on if you are a business owner what you would expect as you know for customers that are coming in and stuff like that just to get some ideas and some familiarity about the game it's free to download and play you don't have to link your wallets or anything to do it you can just download it i'm gonna leave all the links in the description below and a definite date as soon as I get it about the upcoming mass sale. I hope you found this video informative. I know it was a little bit long-winded, but it was really an honor to be able to work with the Gold Fever team again. 
I really, really appreciate the opportunity to be able to do some sponsored content for them again. And I'm very much looking forward to your opinions and comments. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time.